What's that mean? Tomorrow, catch the MLB here on Fox. Tonight on Fox 54 News at 10. Richmond County deputies searching for a murder suspect. How you can help put him behind bars. And an Augusta woman behind bars charged with arson. Tonight, neighbors are speaking out. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Sima. And I'm Wendy Redman. Thanks for joining us. First on Fox, a Hepzibah murder suspect is on the loose tonight. Richmond County Sheriff's deputies say they're now looking for this man, 22-year-old. Ajori Adams. He's wanted in connection with the 2012 murder of Hester Jackson. If you know where he might be, please call authorities. Now another murder suspect in the case, as we told you last night, already arrested DeMarchio Lockhart. He made his first court appearance today. Our Amber Grigley spent the day in court and spoke with one of Jackson's old neighbors. I don't know what closure will be, but just knowing they're off the streets and can't harm anyone else right now, that would be good. Nearly three years later, the Jackson family is getting some answers after deputies arrested the man they believe shot and killed 56-year-old Hester Jackson. A Richmond County judge denied bond for 21-year-old DeMarcio Lockhart, who is facing charges of murder, first-degree burglary, possession of a weapon during a crime, and driving with a suspended license in connection with Jackson's death. Made the whole neighborhood kind of, kind of scared. December 9, 2012 was the night that Jackson was shot to death after deputies say he came home from grabbing food and walked in on his home being burglarized. Neighbor Anthony Saunders says he remembered the scene as if it happened yesterday. I come home, my wife called me, there was a bunch of people across the street and someone had got uh, hurt over there. So when I got home and we found out later on what happened. At the time of the incident, Lockhart was at least 19 years old. Saunders says this is an unfortunate situation for this young adult who made a poor decision that he now has to live with for the rest of his life. Man, you done gave up most of your life. Now you got to spend it behind bars and you're going to miss out what's going on in the world. Now, two and a half years later, this home is now vacant. And Saunders says every time he looks across the street, it brings back many unwanted memories from that December night. But knowing that an arrest has finally been made, he says it's a feeling that he can't even begin to explain. I'm glad they, they're getting closure. And God bless them. And hopefully, you know, things will get better on down the road. In Hepzibah, with your news now, Amber Grigley, WFXG, Fox 54. The judge sent the case to Superior Court and another hearing will be set at a later date. Of course, we'll keep you posted. Still no sign of 43 year old Christopher Lee Harper, the man who went missing on Lake Thurman Monday while riding his jet ski. Crews are suspending underwater efforts because of the holiday weekend, but helicopters will still hover the area in hopes of finding Harper. Aiken deputies are searching for a man they say robbed the laundromat on Hitchcock Parkway. It happened last Thursday and Friday. Deputies say the suspect caused some damage while in there and made off with an undisclosed amount of money. If you know who did it, call the Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. You can find both of those numbers on our website, WFXG.com. Investigators in Richmond County saying that someone purposely set a house on fire in Augusta on Berlin Drive. It happened on Wednesday. Our Ashley Edlin was back on the scene today where neighbors are talking about what they saw. So Ashley, what can you tell us? Well, investigators say this is arson and the person who did it is behind bars with no bond set yet. Now, according to an incident report we obtained today, that person is 53 year old Mary Lewis. Now, I was able to go out to the house today and I was able to talk with the homeowner. He did not go in front of our cameras, but told us he was not home when this happened. In that same incident report, it says he called Lewis in front of the investigator and she actually admitted to setting the fire. As far as motive, authorities are still investigating. Authorities, though, say the fact that someone did this on purpose in their area doesn't surprise them at all. And you also heard that it was electrical, but I told you that it was arson. Right. What do you think about that? I mean, I think it's possible. I mean, this ain't the best of neighborhoods, and I know stuff like that going on around here. Now, the incident report says that the fire was basically around the front of the house. I saw a lot of damage when I was out today, also a lot of damage to the roof. Still no answers on why this happened, though. When we have those, we will definitely get back to you. Guys? All right. Thank you, Ashley. Well, we are into the Memorial Day weekend. That's it is right. Friday. A lot of people may be traveling or you have some company coming to your house for the holiday weekend. And so far, the weather has been cooperating. Hey, unofficial start of summer, Big John. 
or Ron. <laughs> oh, or excuse little, me. Or, or little Ron. <laughs> <laughs> little Ron. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, <laughs> this holiday weekend is shaping up to be a very uh, great weekend, as you can see here. Got some rain off to the west. Uh, high pressure is going to build in and move into this area. That's going to stay around for the next several days. In fact, we'll have a picture-perfect holiday weekend and uh, a few days beyond that. A little bit later in the week, we may see a few showers, but right now it's pretty much all clear. Our temperatures are going to be very nice as well. Uh, we're down to about 72 in Atlanta now, 71 in Albany. It's 69 at Savannah and at the Augusta Airport right now. It's uh, 64 degrees, 63 Thompson. It's 63 at Aiken, 67 at Sylvania. Now, tomorrow morning, we'll get a little bit cool down into 49 degrees. So it will be a cool start, but we'll be up to about 78 degrees by noon, topping off with a high of 84 for the afternoon. Sunny skies all the way with a light northeast wind, maybe at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's a picture-perfect Saturday. But what will Sunday and Memorial Day look like? I'll have all the details coming up shortly here on Fox 54. Thanks, little Ron. Sorry about that. <laughs> don't forget. I'm sorry, guys. It's oh, Friday. Ron John. You know, don't forget. You can keep up with us on your uh, first alert forecast and all of your news on the go. Just head over to the App Store on your smartphone. Search for WFXG and you can download our news and weather apps. And hey, they're free. South Carolina lawmakers doing a little speaking today, a day after the first meeting in the state for the Palmetto Pipeline project. So what do lawmakers have to say about it? Katie Salt joins us now live in the newsroom. Katie, you spoke with the House representative today. What does he think? Mike and Wendy, Representative Bill Hickson has some concerns. He says he's been researching pipeline laws with other representatives and they can't seem to get their questions answered. Representative Hickson says a lot of residents have been asking him questions about eminent domain and if Kinder Morgan can take their land. Hickson says they have asked South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson to interpret the laws in order to determine if a private company can use eminent domain to take land. Now, in the event Kinder Morgan does decide to run the pipeline through South Carolina, they would then have to go through DHEC to hold public meetings. But until then, Hickson's main concern is getting answers. My main thing is to make sure that the intimate domain process uh, is used right if it's used. And number one, what people want to know, does this private company have the right to use intimate domain and, and taking your land away? I mean, this is America of land of the free. And, and um, I want to make sure people are treated fairly, and I promised them all, uh, and so did the rest of our uh, delegation, that we would do all we could to get every question answered. Representative Hickson told me he reached out to Governor Nikki Haley to see what her opinion on the Palmetto Pipeline project is, and he says he has yet to hear back from her. We will, of course, continue to follow this story, so be sure to tune in here and on WFXG.com for the latest information. In the newsroom, Katie Solt, WFXG, Fox 54. Don't forget, you can find out all of the coverage surrounding the Palmetto Pipeline on our website, WFXG.com. School's out for the summer, but Richmond County schools are already looking for bus drivers. We're going to tell you more about a job fair for both Richmond County and Columbia County when we come back. It's a good time for a great deal at the Toyota Time Sales event, but it all ends June 1st. Visit your Toyota dealer today. Get a two-year, no-cost maintenance lease on a new 2015 Toyota Corolla LE for $159 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Think that one piece of trash doesn't matter? Think again. Litter trashes everyone. Do your part to help keep South Carolina beautiful. Participate in the great American cleanup of South Carolina now until May 31st. When we created the Silverado Rally Edition, we figured, why stop there? These four new Silverado Special Editions are just the beginning. From this year's fastest growing full-size truck brand, Chevy Silverado. Or during the Chevy Memorial Day sale, choose this Silverado All-Star with a total value of $8,500 when you finance through select lenders. See your CSRA Chevy dealer. My grandkids say I'm a cookie expert, and no one's cookies top grandma's. 
I don't mind living up to that title one bit. But my leg pain, on the other hand, has no business in my kitchen. So I decided to go to the Vane guys, and they were wonderful. There was so much I didn't know about my tired, aching legs. I love the Vane guys for showing me how sweet life can be without leg pain. Crowd's pretty big. You thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Wait. It's the Toyota Time Sales event. Get in on the fun today. Get a low 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2015 Toyota RAV4. Wait. Toyota, let's go places. Who says desirable can't be affordable? Visit Acura of Augusta today. You're watching Fox 54 News at 10. Richmond County students are off for the summer, but administrators are still at work making sure their uh, travel details for the next year are in place. Yeah, and making sure they get to and from school. Our Dejanee Garrison has the story. Today, these seats were filled with kids heading home after their last day of school. And if all goes well at a job fair on June 6th, there will be 40 new bus drivers greeting them on their first day this fall. Three kids to a seat, longer wait times, and double routes are some of the modifications that Richmond County bus drivers have had to make this past year. That's because the steady flow of students has not slowed down to the shortage of drivers. What we want to see in Richmond County is a more efficient model system. This is why we're in the process of having this uh, job fair. Ron Thomas answered the call for more bus drivers five years ago and says that this job is about more than driving buses. It's another branch of the educational community. You take them to school. The way you take them to school is the way they act in school. I try to do a one-on-one -on -one with the kids and it makes everything a lot better. It makes my job a lot better. Wiley says that this shortage isn't exclusive to Richmond County. And while they are being proactive, the fact still remains. You still need a driver for every bus. With 22,000 kids eligible to ride the bus and 140 bus drivers, these guys say that they're ready for some new employees to help lighten their loads. In Richmond County with your news now, Dejanique Garrison, WFXG, Fox 54. The job fair will be held June 6th at the Technical Career Magnet School off of Lumpkin Road from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Columbia County Board of Education is holding a job fair Thursday. They're looking for bus drivers for the upcoming school year. The job fair will be at the Board of Education building from 9 to noon. You can find a link to applications on our website, WFXG.com. We're going to get that forecast for you. Coming up, Memorial Day weekend is here. Ron Wallace Who? in the house. <laughs> Ron Wallace. Ron, because it's Friday. RW Woo. in the house. It's a ticker tape parade from coming up. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Wendy Redman. You're watching WFXG Fox 54. How much are you spending on a complete pair of no-line bifocals? $250, $400, maybe even $550? Well, how about $99? Two pair no-line bifocals for $99 plus free eye exam. Stanton Optical. Call 1-800-STANTON for nearest location. If you're paying too much for your current vehicle, please pay attention. This Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, you're invited to bring your current vehicle to Milton Rubin Superstore for a Memorial Day makeover. Out with the old and in with the new shop Toyota, Chevrolet, Chrysler, Ram, Dodge, Jeep, or choose from hundreds of quality pre owns Turn your high payment on your old car into a low payment on a new one. Four days only at your whatever it takes dealer, Milton Rubin Superstore. Drivebaby.com. Click, click. Whether it's inside or outside, there's always something fun going on at St. John Towers. I would say this is home away from home. Fun, safe activities are planned year round for our residents, and we provide transportation. The place is nice and well secured. It just goes an extra mile to help you with any kind of problem you have. So whether it's a picnic or fishing at the lake or a cruise down the river, there's always something fun going on at St. John Towers. It's a tremendous place to live. So darling, darling, stay by me. Oh, stay. The Memorial Day event is here at your local Ford dealer. Discover why more people choose Ford than any other brand. Active military personnel, veterans, and retirees receive up to 1,000 cash on most Ford vehicles. And those eligible get up to 4,000 total cash back on the 2015 Ford Focus. Stand by me. 
Hurry, end soon. How much are you spending on a complete pair of no-line bifocals? $250, $400, maybe even $550? Well, how about $99? Two pair no-line bifocals for $99 plus free eye exam. Stanton Optic. Call 1-800-STANTON for nearest location. Welcome back, everybody. It is Friday. Looking forward to the weekend. A lot of people have Monday off as well. Forecast shaping up very nice for us. Hey, I think uh, we'll be able to deliver this time. Looks like we're going to have a picture perfect Memorial Day of a holiday. In fact, a few days beyond that before we expect to see any rain in the forecast. In fact, uh, there you see off to the northwest there across the Ohio Valley. Uh, that's an area of low pressure that's going to continue to dissipate pushing in behind that or in front of it as a high pressure system and that's going to push through and hang into this area at least for the next few days and that's going to ensure that we have dry weather for the next few days. Future Max give us an idea of what we can expect as we move through the weekend all the way through Saturday and into Sunday and this same pattern will continue all in uh, through Memorial Day and we won't probably see any clouds or any moisture until a little bit later in the week. Our current temperature is 63 at Aiken, 68 Barnwell, Greenwood, 60 63 at Thompson and 72 at Swainsboro. Now at the uh, Augusta Airport right now, the winds are calm at 64 degrees, humidity 70 percent, the dew point 54, and uh, we officially, the high today topped out at 80 degrees at Augusta Regional, 81 over at Daniel. The lows were 59 at Regional and 62 at Daniel. And the uh, sunrise tomorrow morning will occur at 623. Normally, our high would be around 87. The normal low is 59. The record high for this date was 97 degrees, set back in 1941. And again, we've had no rain in the past 24 hours. For the overnight, we can expect the low to get down to 49 degrees with a light northeast wind, all under clear skies. Temperatures all around the CSRA are right around to 50 degrees or 57 at to Martinez and 53 at North Augusta. Belvedere will see a low of 53 tonight, 51 at Jackson and 50 at McBean. And for tomorrow, it's going to be all sunshine all day uh, with a light uh, northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And the afternoon high is expected to reach 84 degrees. And 84 will be the general rule throughout the entire area. All of the CSRA expecting the high to be in the mid 80s for the afternoon. And here's what we're looking at for the next few days. That high pressure staying in place all the way at least through Monday and Tuesday. A few clouds creeping into the picture on Tuesday. A slight chance for a shower on Wednesday and maybe a chance for a couple of storms on Thursday or Friday. So the entire holiday weekend is going to be just perfect. I was going to say in the 80s. This Hardly ever happens over Memorial Day it's weekend. <laughs> the right. official beginning of summer. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> or unofficial. <laughs> uh, unofficial. <laughs> we still must remember, though, the reason we are having this holiday, of course, for Memorial Day to honor those who gave their lives to defend our country. We're going to tell you what one church is doing so people never forget. But first, a carjacker has the tables turned as the victims hold him up until police arrive. That story coming up. Closed captioning brought to you by your Augusta Aiken Honda dealers. Why settle for less than a Honda? This is real buttermilk. Where real biscuits come from. This is made from scratch. The Mile High Bacon Egg and Cheese Biscuit, only at Hardee's. If you want to leave boring behind, head to Dealer Options. The staff knows what they're doing. They recommended what was best for my vehicle. Chrome step bars, high rolling lift kit, truck bed covers. This isn't your average accessory shop. Get the latest technology for your truck, car, or boat, like GPS navigation and audio video packages. They do leather too. Your choice for vehicle customization, quality, and craftsmanship. Dealer options, located at 132 Prince Drive behind Master Buick off Washington Road. The villains have arrived in Gotham City. Six Flags introduces the seven-story Joker Chaos Coaster. Fly forward, fly backward, fly face-to-face -face through six inversions and record hang time. Then get twisted on the new Harley Quinn Spin Center. Now open. Save up to 21 bucks with any can of Coke or at SixFlags.com. Villains reign and thrills rule. Go big. Go Six Flags over Georgia. Warning, with jalapeno poppers, pepper jack cheese, habanero sauce, and sliced jalapenos piled high on a 100% black Angus beef patty, this lava bomb is nuclear. Try the Thick Burger El Diablo, only at Hardee's. We hashtag Diablo Dare You. 
This is Bob. Now here's what Bob should have done. <laughs> alert weather forecast right here on Fox 54. Showers moving in, light rain in the morning. So don't forget your umbrella and rain gear. And that means you, Bob. Thanks, John. Take it from Bob. Don't miss your first alert weather forecast every night on Fox 54 News at 10. Not an earthquake, but a deer and would be victims fighting back. That's in tonight's WFXG video journal. A driver in Atlanta took matters into his own hands, holding a would-be carjacker at gunpoint. The driver says when he pulled into a parking lot, a man just slipped into his car. So, what'd he do? He pulled out his gun and made the suspect lay face down on the ground until police showed up and arrested him. Police did arrest 61-year-old Edgar Horn and charged him with attempted robbery and entering an auto. A surveillance camera at a hotel in Georgia capturing the brutal assault on this North Carolina jewelry dealer and his family last month as they loaded up their trunk with tens of thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. Robbers sprayed them with pepper spray, but the family fought them off and were even able to catch one, pull down his mask, tear his shirt, and, well, they got in some good licks. That would-be robber took off and left behind suitcases full of loot. Wow. And a woman says she thought she was in an earthquake when some deer came crashing through a jewelry store window. Did you see that? Surveillance cameras caught the whole thing. This happened in Neptune, New Jersey. Two women inside locked themselves in a bathroom and called the cops. The deer, though, ended up jumping out of another window. Why didn't they just go through the one they came oh, in? Dear. You know? Oh, deer's right. Nope. Oh, poor guy. Poor little guy. He should have got some good bling while he was in there. That's... <laughs> Yes, that's, I'm sure that was on his mind. <laughs> I'm just saying. Security being beefed up on the South Carolina coast as Bike Fest hits the Grand Strand on Myrtle Beach. And it's safety first for bikers and other drivers on the roads for the Memorial Day holiday weekend when Fox 54 News at 10 continues. Hi, I'm Wendy Redmond. Thanks for watching WFXG Fox 54. So darling, darling, stay. I love the new place. Thank you. We used a designer from Haverty's to help blend all of my stuff with Dave's one good chair. I love it. It reminds me of when we blended our furniture. Yeah, Ryan helped me get all my stuff just the way I like it. And Emily helped me get all of my stuff right to the curb. That was a great day. Yeah. Refresh your space with an extra hundred off every thousand at Haverty's. Plus enjoy 36 month no interest financing. Haverty's, discover something new. In the fraction of time we spend driving in reverse, about half a million accidents occur each year, which is why the Infiniti QX60 has world's first safety technology available, like backup collision intervention, which can break even before you do, to help keep everyone safe. Lease the Infiniti QX60 for $3.99 a month. Visit your local Infiniti retailer. Memorial Day preps are happening across the nation. Soldiers continue a time-honored tradition at Arlington National Cemetery. For more than 60 years, the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, also known as the Old Guard, has honored America's fallen heroes by placing American flags at the grave sites of service members in anticipation of Memorial Day weekend. About 14,000 flags are placed at the cemetery every year. Another number to remember? 6,852. That's the number of U.S. service members killed in the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. The congregation of Grace Place Church in Enterprise, Alabama is paying tribute to them this Memorial Day weekend by placing American flags on the church's lawn, one for each of those killed in Iraq or Afghanistan. An emotional experience for those hammering the flags into the ground as well as those visiting. The tribute will remain on display through Tuesday morning. Memorial Day weekend is here, so if you plan on traveling and haven't hit the roads just yet, you're going to want to listen up. Our Kelsey Walker joins us live off Washington Road and his information you'll want to know before hitting the road. Kelsey, what can you tell us? Well, I can let you know that motor... 
I can let you know that motorcyclists heading out of state this weekend should make themselves aware of other states' helmet laws as they do change from state to state. Bikers are hitting the open road, but crossing state lines could mean breaking the law. For example, Georgia and Alabama require a helmet at all times, while Florida and South Carolina have age requirement laws. This mother and son coming from Florida learned that the hard way once they hit Georgia, getting a ticket to start off the holiday weekend. I've been riding since I was five and I grew up in the six, you just didn't wear helmets, so it's just very natural to ride without one. A violation in Georgia could cost you up to $15 and in South Carolina, tickets are around $100. From two wheels to four, the Georgia Department of Transportation just released this new chart stating what people are actually doing behind the wheel, emailing and texting being among the most popular. Whether you're traveling by motorcycle or by car, it is important not to push yourself and keep an eye out for distracted drivers. And a lot of motorcycles will be traveling through the Augusta area this weekend as they head to Bike Fest in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now stay tuned to Fox 54 and we'll have more for what bikers can expect in South Carolina this weekend. In Augusta, Kelsey Walker, WFXG, Fox 54. Thanks so much, Kelsey. Of course, people are already flocking to the coast and the rivers, also to the pool. So if you're planning to head out to the water for the first time this year, be sure to stay safe by following these simple safety rules. Do not swim alone. Always supervise children in or near the water. Wear plenty of sunscreen and drink lots of water. Make sure you stay hydrated. AAA and Bud Light teaming up for the Memorial Day holiday weekend, helping to make sure you and your loved ones get home safe from celebrating. They will be offering the tow to go program starting tomorrow through 6 in the morning Tuesday. AAA will safely take you and your vehicle home anywhere within a 10 mile radius. Straight ahead, local leaders are getting some inspiration to revamp the James Brown statue in Augusta. But first, smile, you're on camera. Check out what this guy did in Columbia County at a home. For this Memorial Day, Honda celebrating the way Americans celebrate best. With pyrotechnics. Because when you can get a Honda for an incredible holiday deal, we think it's worthy of its own monument. Meet Mount Savemore. Get into America's best overall brand at the Honda Memorial Day sales event. Nissan gave a lucky few the ride of their life in the 2015 Nissan Altima. Where am I going? Where am I going? Nissan Altima. <laughs> with blind spot warning and up to 270 horsepower. Get the ride of your life at your local Nissan store. Choose the 38 MPG Howie Ultima and get up to 1,000 bonus cash on top of existing offers. Bonus cash ends June 1st. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites. If you want the best of baseball all season long, Xfinity from Comcast gives you the best seat in the house. With MLB Network, you get live games four nights a week with 24-7 insider coverage and live look-ins every night. Plus, with the X1 Sports app, you get easy access to live scores so you can keep track of games around the league. Upgrade to Digital Preferred TV to get MLB Network for a great low price. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit Comcast.com slash sports today. Ah, those were the good old days. Yeah, but those days are gone. What do you think, guys? Should we blow it up one more time? Yeah! yeah! It's the grand reopening celebration at Fairway Ford. Yeah! New Ford Focus as low as 16,988. Ford Fusions as low as 18,4. Plus, stop by and register to win a new set of tires, free alignments, and even a car. Come see us for the grand reopening here at Fairway Ford. Hi, I'm Wendy Redman. You're watching WFXG Fox 54. Fox 54 News at 10 continues now with Mike Sela, Wendy Redman, and weather with First Alert weatherman Ron Wallace. It's your news one hour earlier. Thanks for staying with us here on Fox 54 News at 10. Let's get you caught up on some of our top stories tonight. Richmond County officials are now looking for a second suspect in a 2012 Hepzibah murder. They believe 22-year-old Jory Adams is involved in the murder of Hester Jackson. 
Another murder suspect in the case already arrested 21-year-old DeMarcio Lockhart made his first court appearance today. He was denied bond. Well, the underwater search for the missing jet skier at Lake Thurman is now suspended for the holiday weekend. 43-year-old Christopher Lee Harper went missing Monday. A helicopter will continue, though, to fly over looking for him. Augusta Fire investigators say the house fire on Merlin Drive Wednesday was no accident. They say 53-year-old Mary Lewis admitted to starting the fire. No word yet as to why she did it. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Well, if you're planning to pull out the barbecue grill and throw on a few ribs, uh, this weekend's going to be the perfect time to do it. Uh, all the way from Saturday, all the way through Monday, and into Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Going to be picture-perfect weather throughout the CSRA. As you see on the radar, got some moisture way off to the west. Uh, that won't approach until later in the week. But for the next few days, it's all beautiful weather. Temperatures are right now 72 in Atlanta, 64 at Augusta, 69 at Savannah, still 70 at Jacksonville, 66 at Myrtle Beach. And Thompson, 62 right now, Swainsboro, 72, 68 over at Barnwell. We'll get down to about 49 degrees tomorrow morning and 78 by noon. 84 will likely be the afternoon high, all under northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Going to be a picture-perfect Saturday, and this weather is going to hold out all the way through Memorial Day. I'll have your complete first alert forecast coming up shortly here on Fox 54. A Richmond County Sheriff's Office deputy involved in a car wreck today. Officials say Sergeant Richard Elam was driving his car on Peach Orchard Road when he hit a power pole about 2.40 this morning. Officials say Elam was in his personal car and was not on duty at the time of the crash. And during the field evaluation, supervisors determined Elam was not impaired. Escaders say his car ran off the road, hit the pole, and the power lines came down onto a tractor trailer truck that then pulled the rest of the power lines down. Elam was not injured in the accident. Officials want to know, do you know who this guy is? Columbia County Sheriff's deputies say he stole a package delivered to an Evans home. Take a good look. He was driving the pickup truck you can see there on your screen. Investigators say they have had several thefts like this in the Martinez Evans area. You can see he has tattoos on both of his legs. If you recognize him, maybe know who he might be, call authorities. Extra security will be provided during graduation ceremonies this weekend at the Valdosta High School where a student was found dead in a rolled up gym mat more than two years ago. Kendrick Johnson, whose body was found in the school gym in January 2013, would have graduated with the 2015 class at Lowndes High School. Graduation ceremonies are tomorrow and lingering questions about his death have prompted plans for a protest outside the school. A 16-year-old wanted by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office for shooting into a school bus, they say, hitting two teen girls, is behind bars. Police arrested him last night in Liberty County. Police looked for Edgar Robles for about a week. He was wanted for two counts of attempted murder and firing a deadly missile. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says Robles fired five shots into the bus. 16-year-olds Shakela Singleton and Ayana Sherman were hit. Shakela was shot through both cheeks and was released from the hospital last week. Ayana was shot in the back of the head and released from the hospital this week. That this was a very small caliber handgun and of a 380 caliber nature, probably the only reason that we don't have two uh, dead 16 year old girls. Police say the girls were caught in the middle of a feud between Robles and two other teens on the bus. He and his two friends were supposed to fight. Police arrested him last night in Waldauerville during a traffic stop. The Atlantic Beach Bike Fest is getting underway on the Grand Strand and heightened security this year after they've seen violence, not necessarily in Myrtle Beach, but in other places. The weekend is expected to bring about 400,000 people to the Myrtle Beach area for Bike Fest in the first long weekend of the summer season. Horry County emergency officials report there have already been several motorcycle accidents in that the ER in the area running near capacity. Dozens of extra law enforcement officers from three states are on duty tonight. I think we're going to have anyway from about 75 officers here inside of the, the, the city limits here of Atlantic Beach. They're also going to be officers all out on 17 hour patrols. It's going to be monitoring the traffic. So we're going to have over 100 officers within this area here. Last year, violence during Bike Fest weekend left three dead and seven wounded in the area. 
Leaders from Augusta visited Albany, Georgia today to get some inspiration for an upcoming project. The leaders walked along Front Street and through Ray Charles Plaza as they looked for ways to revamp the James Brown statue here in Augusta. Tara Hershaft spoke to the leaders from both cities who say the trip was beneficial. Areas. And it all just works. Right. Leaders from Augusta spent today with Albany and Doherty County officials. You see a lot of that on Sunday. Walking along Front Street in downtown Albany. The Hilton Garden Inn. Gathering ideas as they work to enhance their downtown and pay tribute to their hometown music legend and godfather of soul, James Brown. Uh, we got a statue downtown. Uh, we got a lot of people coming taking pictures with that statue, but we want to enhance it. We're time to uh, widen our, uh, our thinking and, and do some things differently. So we came down to take a look, and I'm really impressed by what we see. And here. Hey, good looking. In addition to the sweet sounds of Ray Charles, visitors have plenty of room to take pictures. This is much more accessible, it's much more open. Augusta officials walked from the River Aquarium in Turtle Park to Veterans they Park. To do another monument here. Seeing how the Ray Charles Plaza serves as a connector in between. Hopefully uh, my colleagues and I, I mean, I can't make decisions by myself. Being elected official, I got to get five more votes. But I think I got the votes to maybe to, to do some things for Jane Brown. Jane Brown is an icon who's known all over the world. And Doherty County Commissioner Clinton Johnson says this visit was also beneficial for them. Well, I think the trip was good for all of us. You have state representatives here, you have city commissioners and county commissioners, and what it has done is allowed us to kind of talk about what we've done right and what we could do better. One trip uniting two cities and paying tribute to two of the greatest musicians of all time. How's about cooking something up with me? To help kick off the unofficial start of summer, Augusta is holding a music fest downtown. Tomorrow, starting at 4 p.m., there will be live music at the Augusta Common. It's free. There will be food and drinks for you to enjoy, so head on out and have a good time. Local first responders all over Georgia, South Carolina, and eastern Alabama enjoying a nice barbecue today. Kroger dropping off thank you bags to honor these men and women. The bags included charcoal, plates, cups, hot dogs, and much more. The deliveries will also help kick off Kroger's first ever red, white, and barbecue celebration, a two-week event that offers shoppers more unique barbecue foods. When an Atlanta area teen graduates from high school, she's going to have a very special friend watching. When she was just a baby, a U.S. soldier whisked her out of Iraq to safety. Tony Thomas found out the two have reunited just in time to celebrate this big milestone. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are this you? This is a reunion 18 years in the making, 18 years of emotion and built up gratitude. Save the day for us. It was worth it. It was, absolutely. It was <laughs> the year was 1996. Awaz Barwari had found herself on Saddam Hussein's kill list. The U.S. agreed to get her out of Iraq, but as she and her then baby Lava arrived at the border, she was told she could go but her baby's name wasn't on the list and had to stay behind. Then soldier Greg Pippen took the baby in his arms and announced she had a new name. So I said, again, my name's Greg. If the baby's name was Greg, it's gotta be a relative and so that means she can go. Mom and baby ultimately made it to the Atlanta suburbs where lava would rise through the Gwinnett school system. Pepin went on to become the vice president of Boeing International. The families never saw each other again, but as lava planned her graduation, she decided she had to track him down. It was first story I probably ever heard. She's always told me about the man who saved my life. The day I got Lava's email was one of those signature days that, that kind of makes your life worthwhile. So when Lava walks across the stage, that man who saved her life will be there again for another key moment. So I'm happy you tracked me down. So am I. You know, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Oh, amazing story. That's crazy. I always just love how you can do something like that. You might not think about it for years and how much it meant to that other person and, mm -hmm. and what you did and brought her to safety. 18 years later, there it is. It's getting all choked up, Mike. Pretty incredible. It is very incredible. Well, coming up after the break, Amazon is cooking up a plan they think is pretty incredible to expand some of their delivery services. We're going to tell you about it, but first, Soup and Cough is making a comeback. What you can do to protect your family when you return. Honor veterans by taking part in the Aiken Memorial Day Parade. 
Don't miss out on the fun and a chance to honor those who have served our country. Come to downtown Aiken for the Memorial Day Parade, Saturday, May 23rd at 11 a.m. If you want to leave boring behind, head to Dealer Options. The staff knows what they're doing. They recommended what was best for my vehicle. Chrome step bars, high rolling lift kit, truck bed covers. This isn't your average accessory shop. Get the latest technology for your truck, car, or boat, like GPS navigation and audio video packages. They do leather, too. Your choice for vehicle customization, quality, and craftsmanship. Dealer Options, located at 132 Prince Drive behind Master Buick off Washington Road. Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity TV from Comcast. Right now, you can get Xfinity TV for just $19.99 a month for 12 months with Xfinity On Demand included. Call 1-800-800-8869 today. Xfinity On Demand delivers thousands of hit shows, top movies, and more at no additional cost. So you can catch up on the latest episodes of TV's hottest shows anytime, anywhere. Switch to Xfinity TV for just $19.99 a month for 12 months with Xfinity On Demand included. Plus, ask how you can add HBO, Showtime, or Stars, and enjoy award-winning TV shows and movies at home and on the go. There's no term contract and no early termination fee. Plus, it's all backed by our 30-day money-back Comcast customer guarantee, so it's risk-free. Tomorrow could be awesome if you call today. Call 1-800-800-8869. That's 1-800-800-8869. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Some things are not what they appear to be. Other things are exactly what they appear to be. The Lexus IS. As aggressive as it looks. Lease the 2015 IS250 for $349 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. Closed captioning brought to you by your Augusta Egan Honda dealers. Why settle for less than a Honda? Well, if you're getting ready to cook out this weekend, listen up. The hot weather makes it easy for that food to spoil very quickly. Yes, it does. Billie Jean Shaw has important information from DHEC to help you avoid some common safety mistakes. Jim Beasley, a spokesperson for DHEC, says with the upcoming summer and Memorial Day weekend, that means one thing. People are going to be cooking outside, which can lead to foodborne illnesses. Now, Beasley says if you don't want to spoil your cookout fun, you need to make sure that you are taking four steps in order to prevent those illnesses. First thing, make sure that you are washing your hands. I know that's something that we hear all the time, but that's one of the most important things to fight off illnesses. Also, you want to remember to use separate plates for uncooked and cooked meat to avoid cross-contamination. You should also remember to use a meat thermometer to make sure burgers are cooked to at least 160 degrees and poultry is cooked to at least 165 degrees. Beasley says in addition to undercooked meats, another important thing to remember is to make sure you are properly storing your food before grilling, keeping it out of what experts call the danger zone. If you avoid the danger zone, that is a temperature range between 40 degrees and 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That's where bacteria and germs have the ability to grow on food. And so we want to ensure that if it's hot, you chill it quickly and get it down to that below 40. Or if it's cool and you need to heat it up, get it up to 130 or better. Now, to ensure you are keeping your food out of that danger zone, you may want to invest in a meat thermometer like the one I am holding right here. You can find these in any of your local cooking stores. Good tips there. All right. Whooping cough has reemerged in developed countries and is putting babies and small kids at risk. That's according to experts in infectious diseases. Since babies are too young to get vaccinated, researchers recommend all pregnant women get the whooping cough vaccine. They also say a newborn's immediate family should get vaccinated. A new study published in the journal Pediatrics finds concussions can cause academic problems for students, especially later in high school. Researchers followed nearly 350 students who suffered a concussion and found 88% complained of headaches, fatigue, and the inability to concentrate. 77% reported having to spend more time on homework, as well as more difficulty taking notes and studying. The problems appeared to get worse in high school when students faced greater academic demands. In consumer news tonight, it could take as long as five years to fix all of the cars affected in the largest auto recall in U.S. history. 
About 34 million vehicles in the United States and 52 million worldwide are included in the recall of Takata airbags. The airbags could explode and send shrapnel into the vehicles. At least six deaths are tied to this defect. Officials say it will take time to make the new airbags and dealerships need time also to replace them. Lumber Liquidator CEO Robert Lynch resigning unexpectedly. His decision comes after allegations that some of the company's wood flooring contained high levels of cancer-causing chemicals. The company has stopped selling the controversial laminate flooring from China. Still more than 100 class action lawsuits have been filed against lumber liquidators since March. Amazon Prime Now service is expanding into the food delivery business. Company officials say they're going to test out New York City first. You'll be able to order groceries, prepared meals, and baked goods from several Manhattan stores. Amazon's new food delivery service comes days after Walmart announced it's testing an unlimited shipping service that is half the price of Amazon Prime. Coming up next, why did this little girl get pulled over? What? Whoa! <laughs> Slow down. Too That's, fast. Look at that car chase. No signal. No signal. All right. She <laughs> might be too cute. She's also become an internet sensation. You're going to see why after this. Scania's Barbecue was founded in 1956 by my parents with a simple policy in mind. Quality food, generous portions, and a fair price. Over the years, we've had the honor of serving our barbecue at the White House, the Congress, and the Georgia Capitol. Our dreams have become a reality because of you, our valued customers. The tradition lives on at Scania's. Come taste the legend for yourself. We make good money, but yet it just doesn't seem to be ever enough. I don't want to be stressed. I don't want to fight with him. We're coming to Regions because we need help. The budget calculator in particular I really like. Digitally, it'll reconnect us, and we'll know what each other's doing, so there'll be no surprises at the end of the month. I want to give my kids the best life that I can afford. We're finally working together to take our next step. with sliced jalapenos, crunchy jalapeno poppers, and spicy habanero sauce. The Thick Burger El Diablo gets hotter with every bite. Introducing the Thick Burger El Diablo, only at Hardee's. The Acura Spring Sales Event has just begun. New ILX $299 a month. That's not a lease. Come experience why Acura of Augusta on Gordon Highway is the fastest growing luxury car dealership in the CSRA. Welcome back to Fox 54 News at 10. One Virginia police officer's home video has just gone viral and has thousands of people talking. <laughs> know why I pulled you over today? Because they're too cute. Well, you bunch of wise guys, when y'all buckled up? <laughs> too cute. Officer Kenny Bowman was just having a little fun with his kids as he pretended to pull them over on his driveway. See, guys, there, no signal. You can't do that. <laughs> but the viral video sends an important message. They're trying to run over a police officer. Officer Bowman says officers work to protect us. But they want to get home safely to their own families. He's also happy his video may help open the lines of communication between the public and the police. What a sweet video. I love that. All right, time now for your first alert weather extra with Ron Wallace. And now, WFXG's first alert weather extra with your first alert weather team. And it looks like we're getting ready to have a beautiful uh, weather as far as the weekend is concerned. Uh, we're expecting to have a, um, probably a mostly sunny conditions with great temperatures throughout the CSRA for the entire uh, holiday weekend. In fact, here's what the radar is looking at. And as our future max is concerned, things are pretty good. I'll have all the details coming up in just a moment. I honestly think it's one of the best things that 
WFXG does is for our children. We should know about our kids. We should know what they're up to. We should know their crowning achievements. We should know the hurdles that they're up against. Spending the time talking about our children, helping them feel empowered, helping them uh, be acknowledged. They're doing a good job. They're trying to make this world better. Maybe that can have a ripple effect. Maybe that can inspire others to go along those lines. I'm Brian Vickers, NASCAR driver. I'm Kevin Nealon, comedian. And I'm Arnold Palmer, professional golfer. You know what we have in common? We talked to our doctors about treatment with Zeralta. Me, when I had a blood clot on my leg that could have traveled to my lungs. That's why I took Zeralto too. Zeralto is proven to treat and help reduce the risk of DVT and PE blood clots. I took Zeralto for AFib, an irregular heartbeat that can lead to a stroke from a blood clot. Zeralto is proven to reduce the risk of stroke in people with AFib, not caused by a heart valve problem. Hey, well, I'm glad we got together. For people with AFib currently well managed on warfarin, there was limited information on how Zeralto and warfarin compare in reducing the risk of stroke. I tried warfarin before. But the blood testing routine and dietary restrictions had me off my game. Tell me about it. Let's see. Golf clinic or blood clinic? Ooh, that's a tough one. Not this time. That was Zeralta. Anything else? I'll have another Arnold Palmer. <laughs> OK. Make mine a Kevin Nealon. Really, Brian? Hey, safety first. Like all blood thinners, don't stop taking Zarelto without talking to your doctor, as this may increase your risk of a blood clot or stroke. While taking Zarelto, you may bruise more easily, and it may take longer for bleeding to stop. Zarelto may increase your risk of bleeding if you take certain medicines. Zarelto can cause serious bleeding, and in rare cases, may be fatal. Get help right away if you developed unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling. If you have had spinal anesthesia while on Zarelto, watch for back pain or any nerve or muscle-related signs or symptoms. Do not take Zarelto if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. Tell your doctor before all planned medical or dental procedures. Before starting Zarelto, tell your doctor about any conditions such as kidney, liver, or bleeding problems. Zarelto has been prescribed more than 11 million times in the U.S., and that number is growing. Like your guys' scores. With Zeralto, there is no regular blood monitoring and no known dietary restrictions. Treatment with Zeralto was the right move for us. Ask your doctor about Zeralto. You may be able to get up to 12 months at no cost. Welcome back to First Alert Weather Extra. Well, weather has slowed cleanup efforts at the site of an oil spill that fouled California shoreline. The National Weather Service says gusty winds are whipping up waves as high as four feet off Santa Barbara County. Several days of calm seas had helped crews. Uh, the crews have yet to evacuate the uh, section, to excavate the section rather, of pipeline that broke Tuesday, spilling an estimated 105,000 gallons of crude. About 21,000 gallons is believed to have made it to the sea and formed slicks that stretch nine miles along the coast. My goodness. All right, we want to take a look at the flooding in Liberty, Texas. Not wow. looking good there. No, nope. this is near Houston, where the Trinity River has spilled over its banks. It's left people and homes stranded in the floodwaters. As you can see, the flooding in the Liberty area is at the highest level in nearly 21 years. The forecast calls for the river to hold steady around 28.9 feet, but there is a possibility it could rise more over the next several days, not what they want to hear. That certainly would be a tragic situ situation. Mm -hmm. Anyway, energy officials near Houston are releasing water from the spillway to ease pressure on the Lewis Creek Reservoir Dam after chunks of land started sliding down the hills on the sides of the dam. Crews are laying down tarps to keep any more soil from sliding when the next batch of rain comes. Energy officials say they usually deal with one or two slides per year. The last one was in January, and those repairs are still fine. But even though they blame Mother Nature for this close call, they say design changes could be on the way. How about this? There's now another hole at the top of the Rock Golf Course in Missouri, except that this one is not man-made. Nope, what? the earth opened up near the Arnold Palmer designed driving range overnight draining off a significant portion of a nearby pond. The sinkholes roughly 70 feet wide, 35 feet deep. I would say that's a lot easier to uh, get yeah, your I ball in the hole on I that could, one. I can make a hole, a hole in one, in one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There are actually four sinkholes that opened up in that same area out there. Despite the holes, golf course management says the course will be open 
this weekend. Hey, you have your chance. That's right, one. Playing that course would really improve my Buy score. Him, I know. <laughs> Beach season officially kicked off in Chicago today. Just in time for Memorial Day weekend. Lake Michigan water is still very cold. But that will not stop some from going in. Lifeguards will be on site to keep those willing to brave <laughs> the frigid waters safe. Beach season wraps up September 7th. My dog was liking it. Yeah, I really was hey. enjoying it. <laughs> he has a fur coat, though. Our weather, though, for the weekend is looking very, very nice. As you can see there all around the southeast, got a few sprinkles down in south Florida and a little bit of rain off to the northwest in Missouri. But all of Georgia, Alabama and Mississippi right now pretty much all dry as well as the Carolinas. A high pressure will remain in control of this area at least through the weekend. Now, here's a look at Future Max, giving us an idea of what we might expect uh, over the next few days as we move through the period through Saturday and all the way into Sunday. Uh, you continue to see just dry weather while stormy weather is beginning to build up off to the west. None of that actually reaching the CSRA, at least uh, until later in the week, possibly. Right now, temperatures 59 degrees at the airport, 67 in Sylvania, 64 at Barnwell, Aiken, 61, Columbia, 72 degrees at this hour. And and of course, at the airport, 59, 83% humidity, the dew point 54, and we have a south wind at 5 miles per hour. Now, officially, the high today topped out at 80 degrees at Augusta Regional Airport. It got up to 81 at Daniel. The lows were 59 uh, at uh, Regional, and 62 was the low over at Daniel. Sunrise for Saturday morning at 623, and sunset will occur at 827. Now, normally, the high should be around 87 degrees for this time of the year, and the normal low is 59, but the record high of 97 degrees set back in 1941. The record low of 42 set back in 1954. For the overnight, we can expect a low around 49 degrees with a light northeast wind. In fact, all around the CSRA between 49, 50, and in some cases, 56 degrees at Evans is expected low, uh, 53 at Hepzibah, and over at uh, uh, Belvedere, 53 for the low edge field. We'll see a low of 54 degrees uh, tonight. And for tomorrow, it's all sunshine, 84 degrees throughout the CSRA. In fact, all around the CSRA, 81 is the expected high for the entire area. But as we look ahead for the next uh, several days, uh, maybe on Sunday, mostly sunny condition, high 87, getting up to 90 on Memorial Day, and our next serious chance for some rain probably coming on Thursday. So a great holiday and a few days beyond. We made it through the show, Lil Ron. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Have a safe weekend. Need cash now? Title Max can turn your car title into cash. Get the cash you need in as fast as 30 minutes. All it takes is a vehicle with a clear car title and a valid ID to get started. Bring your car title to Title Max and say, I got my title back with Title Max. Nissan gave a lucky few the ride of their life in the